Make sure you like this video, comment down below, and don't forget to subscribe. What's going on YouTube? Snipes here with TKO Gaming. Really quick before we get into this amazing information, if you want to be a Trials of Osiris helper with a 2.0 plus KD or a graphics designer for TKO, make sure you connect with us on all social media outlets and subscribe and follow us. All links are in the description below and there will be information at the end of this video. Now what you guys see on your freaking screen is so amazing. Look at these shiny ass weapons, guys. Not only are they old raid weapons, but they are weapons that are going to be coming back as exotic plus adept versions with elemental damage on them guys how amazing is that there are going to be 16 weapons to collect with age of triumph and i'm going to tell you guys what the best exotic weapon is going to be in my opinion and i think a lot of you guys will agree and there are some sources backing it up as well so really fast if you guys don't know what adept is it is from trials of osiris essentially what it is is it gives the weapon a quick draw slash snapshot-esque perk never really figured out exactly what it was but i do know that it plays a role to faster zooming in and handling with that weapon so keep in mind now let's get really quickly into why everybody is so hyped around the world so as you guys know, Destiny 2 poster did leak. I'm going to show you guys a picture of it on your guys' screen. I don't even know where it leaks from, guys, but I'm telling you September 8th is a day to remember because most likely that will be the release date of Destiny 2. Plus, Destiny 2 public beta will release before that. And why is that so sick? Because guess what? PlayStation 4 is going to get exclusive access most likely to that beta before anybody else. And you guys know TKO Gaming is on PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and will be on PC as well. Both TKO brothers we're gonna be grinding all the destinies now let's talk about why and what weapon we are going to be looking out for in age of triumph you guys guessed it on the screen what you're seeing the gameplay of a gun that nobody freaking used everybody got it and bungie never did anything about making this weapon a good weapon i never understood what the f was going on in their heads but the necrochasm it is guys this weapon is going to be coming back and it's going to have a new quest line now this quest line is going to be better it's going to be similar but smoother and as you guys know josh hamrick tweeted out with all some great information about this gun saying that vex mythical class will not have a quest line and necrochasm will have a quest line so that's something that i'm so hyped about now he also hinted on things here and there and saying that the quest line is going to be smoother it's going to be different but it will be similar at the same time i don't know he was playing maybe playing some jokes here and there or whatnot having fun on his twitter but it's something to also keep in mind that he was saying to be safe do not delete anything in terms of the husk of the pit the old necrochasm all the stuff that pertain to the old quest line do not because it could come in handy for the new quest line that's something we are so hyped about guys you have no idea this gun is finally going to be in my opinion the best weapon in destiny why wouldn't it be they're gonna buff it up again they knew they made a big mistake it was supposed to be the greatest gun ever and it was such a downfall everybody was so pissed nobody used this gun and i never understood why bungie didn't do anything about it maybe they knew age of triumph was gonna come and maybe they knew that they were going to make it happen at the end of it all now you guys want to keep in mind there's going to be a couple other announcements i'll mention it now in this video because maybe you guys didn't get a chance to creep into all that was happening so the raid weapons that you're going to get are going to stay pretty constant the exotics are going to have new ornaments on them so that's pretty exciting there's a lot of cool ornaments that are coming up and make sure to be in tune for the channel because we're going to be showing you guys how to get all of those as well as a couple other things the armor in the raid is going to stay the same unless you put an ornament on it then it'll change completely and what i mean by the same is it's the same as the old raid armor nothing is going to change for its regular way but when you put an ornament it's going to look that much better another few things that we're going to talk about here is that the vendor weapons are are going to be rotating each week that's pretty cool legendary marks are going to come into effect again make sure you guys save up on those and then some bullet points i want to read off to you guys is each raid will drop iconic legendary weapons and armor up to maximum light which is 400 it is not going any higher elemental primary weapons are making a comeback as exotic adept weapons we talked about that earlier every set of raid armor can be augmented with new ornament tokens also spoke about that ornament tokens adept exotics from challenges and weekly featured raids you guys know TKO Gaming is going to be helping with that. So make sure you read the description below if you need help with anything in Destiny. As you guys know, we help with Trials of Osiris every single day. Trials is live. And we're going to be helping with every single raid, period, for 
anything in Destiny, challenges, whatever you need. Treasure of Ages boxes will include new Chroma Armor. That's very good to know because the new Chroma Armor looks sick. More fine tuning for the combat sandbox is on the way. That is pretty much going to be some crucible updates and balancing that they do, including a No Land Beyond nerf. Thank God that gun, the freaking No Flinch Beyond. It was unreal getting headshotted by that gun when you know you shouldn't have. But anyways, guys, that's just some things to look forward to, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. Now, I did let you guys know we're going to talk quickly about graphics design and trials of osiris helpers make sure you message us on xbox or ps4 if you want to be a trials of osiris helper make sure your kd is 2.0 plus you're a positive positive person and you love helping other people out make sure you message the gamer tags that are popping up on your screen and for graphics design please do not message us on xbox or playstation 4 we want you to message us on twitter or email once again everything you need to know is in the description below and pretty much everything we operate on is under real tko gaming so you can find us on twitch twitter youtube and everything else thank you guys so much for tuning in make sure you guys like and share this video and please guys get your friends to come on over to tko gaming let's grow this family and if you haven't had a chance please check our twitch stream out we're filled with positivity we're filled with knowledge and we love you guys so much and we grow with you guys so thank you guys so much i love you guys we'll see you in the next one peace